everyone, it's Jackie. I'm here today to show you how to make mini pizzas. Um, this is a very simple recipe and you don't need a whole lot of fancy ingredients for it. So um, I first started making these uh, when I was just a kid and actually when I was in second grade our class put together a cookbook and each of us had to submit an easy recipe and this is what I submitted and I've been making them ever since then. Uh, you might have even seen me make them for my own lunch at Hermitage sometimes when we were, when we were still at Hermitage. So uh, all you need to get started with just a basic cheese pizza. Um, you just need some sort of bread. I really like using English muffins, and that's something we usually have around the house just for breakfast, too. So that's what I like to use. You can also use bagels if you have bagels around. Um, my dad would sometimes make these if we had leftover hamburger buns or hot dog buns. Um, he would make little pizzas with those. So just whatever type of bread um, like that you can use. You also need a sauce. Um, I like to buy this if I know I'm going to be making these. Um, as many of you know, if I make something for lunch, I usually make it every day of the week that week. So if I know I'm going to be making these all week, I usually buy some of this. It's just called Pizza Squeeze and it makes it a little easier. And when we were still at Hermitage, it was, it was easy to transport my lunch box. But if you have leftover spaghetti sauce, you could use that. Or if you like Alfredo sauce and have some of that around, you could use that. So that's up to you. And then you just need some sort of cheese. Um, I like to use mozzarella, and also I sometimes like to use American cheese. My husband does not like American cheese. He thinks it's gross, so he likes, he likes his with mozzarella. I like American sometimes. And then um, from there you just use whatever toppings you have around or whatever toppings you like. Um, today I'm going to be using some ham. It's just some lunch meat I had in the fridge that I cut up. And I happen to have some mushrooms in the fridge for some, another recipe I'm making later in the week. Um, so I just grabbed a couple mushrooms and cut those up. And then I'm one of those weird people that likes pineapple on their pizza. Um, so I have some pineapple here, so I'm just gonna put a little pineapple on there too. So uh, let's get started. First things first, you gotta wash your hands. So after you're done washing your hands, make sure you dry them off because you don't want to get your bread soggy with your wet hands. Um, I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. Um, it just needs to be hot enough to melt your cheese once it's all assembled. Um, what I like to do is I then take my English muffin and I just put it in the toaster for a couple minutes. You don't want to fully toast it, but you want to toast it a little bit. Otherwise, the sauce will make it a little soggy when you add the sauce. I'm just going to get that toasting, and then we'll put these together. So, once these English muffins are just a little bit toasty, um, you're just going to put them on your pan and start assembling your ingredients. Uh, first you add your sauce. So I, I like to use this. If you have um, a jar, you just spoon it on. And then I use the back of my spoon to spread it around. And then after you have your sauce on there, then you just add your cheese. I'm just going to add a little mozzarella on one of these. And then my American cheese on the other one. And then once you have your cheese on, then you can just add your toppings. So I'm going to do ham on both of them. And again, this is just lunch meat I cut up. So I'm going to add a little ham to both. And this was only, I think, two slices of lunch meat, which as you can see is more than enough here. And then I'm going to add mushrooms to this one. And then the pineapple on this one. And that's all it takes to put these together. Um, so once those are all assembled, you can go ahead and carefully just put these right in the oven. 
Uh, they don't take about five or ten minutes. You really just need the cheese to melt. So we'll come back in about five minutes and check. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to see if these are done. The cheese looks nice and melted, so that means they're ready. Um, I'm going to grab my oven mitt and carefully take these out. I'll turn the oven off. Now I'll just put these on a plate so they can cool for a minute. You don't want to burn your mouth with hot cheese. So. There you go, mini pizzas. I'm gonna let these cool down and then I'm gonna enjoy them for lunch. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you get a chance to try these. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.